The Supreme Court rejected a lawsuit restricting abortion access yesterday, and the reaction to the decision is mixed. Cassandra Alonso is live in Washington, D.C. from the Supreme Court. Good morning, Cassandra. Good morning. Reproductive rights groups are calling this a victory after the Supreme Court ruled against a lawsuit wanting to regulate widely used abortion pills. Let's take a look. Mefepristone is a safe and reliable drug that has been widely available for decades. Though I am relieved by today's decision made by the court, no one should be celebrating this decision. The FDA approved mefepristone back in 2000 and is prescribed in two-thirds of all abortions in the U.S. The medication is a two-step abortion pill that is more accessible to women and can be mailed to their homes. Doctors say it's a safer option to treat their patients and they're concerned about the long-term effects of the ruling. If that Supreme Court case goes the wrong way, it is going to limit the ability of physicians and other health care providers in Idaho and likely in other states to be able to save women's lives. It is going to literally result in deaths. It is going to result in doctors and other healthcare providers leaving those states. And it is going to further worsen our already abysmal maternal mortality rates in this country. The lawsuit was originally brought to court by doctors and anti-abortion groups that wanted to put limitations on the pill to make it less accessible. The Supreme Court ruled that they lacked the standing to sue, making this a major setback for the anti-abortion movement. This was the first major Supreme Court case since Roe v. Wade in 2002, but will not be the last. We must remain clear-eyed about the threats to reproductive freedom in America, and we must remain vigilant. Although this may have been a victory for reproductive rights groups, the fight is not over. Another abortion case is set to take place in a couple of weeks concerning Idaho's strict abortion bans and a federal law requiring treatment for health emergencies. Reporting from Washington, D.C., for Kaplan News, this is Cassandra Alonzo.